I'm Ollie, a jack of all trades and an Obtainium engineer. I'm here at the Fryers Forest Research and Development Workshop, where over the past 11 weeks, with the help of a bunch of amazing people, we've been converting Celadary's 1968 Toyota Stout to electric. We've removed the internal combustion engine, we've done a whole lot of work on the drivetrain, brakes, a whole lot of mechanical work. We've removed a bunch of rust, we've installed an electric motor and batteries, and we've given it a fresh coat of paint. And we're now ready to deliver it to Celadary for commissioning. Are you excited, Oliver? Very exciting. We've arrived here at Celadary, getting ready to now take the batteries from their temporary position, remove them, and get the slip-on uh, ready behind the vehicle where we're going to roll it under the slip-on and mount the batteries into their final position. I'm here on the back of the 68 Toyota Stout and we're inside the slip-on in the battery box and we're putting on fuses in here. Batteries to go in here now. So we've got the slip-on on and I've been uh, connecting up the inverter because we've done something a little bit odd. We had to draw a line in the sand. Are the batteries on their slip-on or are they on the vehicle? And we did end up putting them on the slip-on because we already had a battery enclosure uh, that exactly fitted them and the slip-on needs to be able to work separate to the vehicle because if the vehicle has mechanical problems slip-on still got to go out every day to milk so uh, batteries are in the slip-on which does make for a slightly amusing process where you have to uh, roll down a slope to get out from under the slip-on uh, if you like we just did before we rolled under it using the slope Anyway, so slip batteries are in the slip-on, they've been installed, we're pretty ready to turn it on now. This is the Victron 3 kVA inverter that runs the milking equipment, uh, is a backup power system uh, for the dairy. Uh, when there's power outages, we are able to supply uh, most of the critical loads like uh, cold water circulation so that the milk can be kept cold because we've got a big vat uh, of cold water. So uh, pretty useful, pretty useful backup power also provides power out and around the farm uh, for, for uh, powerful corded power tools. Anyway, that's run, that runs the vacuum pump, that's all in the back here. We've just been wiring that up. Yeah, so I think, uh, I think we're good to turn it all on. Beautiful. So we've got voltage on the battery monitor. Righto, let's connect the inverter. I'm just putting the faceplate back on the inverter. It's all connected up. We'll turn it on now. Righto, inverter's on. And... There it is. Righto, we have power. We've got to put the farm tyres on. Get in and drive this farm truck. So this will be normal operation. Turn the key, click, stick it in first, and where'd we go? Yeah. 
11 weeks ago, I was standing here telling you all about some of the reasons why we might want to convert this to electric. Short daily run out to milk the cows, uh, less than a kilometer. Solar power on the top of the roof here, plenty of spare solar. Yeah, it doesn't need a lot of range. And we were just able to gear it right down so that uh, a small motor and modest batteries uh, can do a great job. It, it, does, it does a lot of short little trips, a lot of reversing and slow speed maneuvering, backing up to the dairy parlor, towing the parlor at low speed. So it's a really amazing thing to not have to be feathering a clutch, really low gears and uh, have all that torque. So yeah, it feels, uh, feels like a really appropriate vehicle to be doing the first EV conversion on and a little bit, uh, a little bit forgiving uh, really because it isn't road going and it's low voltage. So there's a whole lot of regs that we didn't have to comply with and yet we were still safe. This vehicle is going to work a lot better as electric, full stop. So uh, I think it's the first, uh, first electric car, you can call it a car, uh, on the farm here at uh, Harcourt Organic Farming Cooperative. There goes Merv. Merv's the, uh, Merv's Katie's father. So Katie and Hugh own the property and Merv used to, uh, it used to be his farm. So it's sort of a, it's a family farm and Katie and Hugh have really made uh, made us welcome here. Tessa is, runs Cellar Dairy and she's my partner. So uh, yeah, they've really made us welcome here and appreciate that because for young farmers, it's pretty hard to get started. And yeah, it's great to have uh, Merv around uh, as well and his, his wealth of knowledge from having run this property as an orchard for many years. So um, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty cool spot up here. And uh, just next to us here, there's uh, Gung Ho Organic uh, Growers, or Gung Ho Growers, they're an organic um, market garden. And yeah, there's, there's the orchard here, the orchard keepers, and the nursery as well. So there's a few enterprises up here. We'll probably go out for a little, a little look around tomorrow with Tess in, the, in this and see how she uses it. This will be kind of wrapping up this series. So if you've enjoyed, if you've enjoyed the videos and you want to see more of this sort of thing, let us know. Give us some comments on uh, anything that you've liked or haven't liked. Or if you do want us to do a wrap up video of some technical stuff, one of the big motivations for me for this has been to help uh, other people like me who aren't specialists in this get started and have a go. Connect up with other people in your area that are doing similar things. It'll really help. Yeah, I've really appreciated the support of the local EV group, EV conversion group, and particularly Gus, Sam, and Adrian. Thanks so much, guys. But uh, we do have another project coming in the pipeline. My plan was that this little series was a little bit of a warm up. I think it's a completely unique project. I don't think anyone has ever done a uh, hybrid electric wood gas truck before. I'd love to bring you guys along for the ride. Let me know if you're excited about that. But yeah, and until the next project, keep well. I'll see you soon.